Hello there, teacher Dennis Mande Maximus. Yeah, happy new year 2024. Yeah, we are already one month done. We are entering into another. And I believe for those of you who are in A level, senior five, those of you who are going to senior five, those who start UCA 2023, and those who are in senior five now going to senior six, 2024, you are preparing for your, your USCE exams. So this video is targeting those students that have uh, physics as part of their combination. So those doing PEM, PCB, PCM, PTM, PAR, whatever has a P in the combination, this video is for you. And this lesson is entitled Strategies to Excelling, to Excelling, uh, or to S your A-level physics. So... For physics paper one, you know very well that you have three sections. Uh, that is section uh, A, section B, section C. Yeah. Section A covers mechanics. Section B handles uh, uh, heat, or you can call it uh, thermal properties of matter. And section D is about uh, modern physics. So. Section, sorry, paper two. Paper two has four sections. And section A is about the geometric optics, that is the light, as you call it. Then section B has waves. We have the wave motion, then wave theory of light. And then section C has magnetism, electromagnetism, and AC. And then section D has... Uh, Current electricity, we have electrostatics, that is static electricity, and capacitors, actually. Um, now, the other third paper is called the paper 3, P510 stroke 3. That is the practical paper. That has always been the easiest for most students. So, how can you excel? How can you get an A? To get an A in A-level physics, you need to have the worst score out of the three should be a credit three so you can have the worst it should be two distinctions and a credit if you get two credit threes like credit in paper one you get a d1 paper two you get a credit three and the paper three you get a credit three you will end up with a, a b so to get an a in a level physics you have to have a minimum a minimum like the worst score should be a credit three. Now, getting a D1 or a D2 in paper three is the easiest. Yeah, as I will talk about that in another video. Yeah, as I'll be em emphasizing the practical work, I'll talk about the strategies for the practical. But this, this one here, this video is specifically for the theory. So for the theory, we have paper one, and the paper two. Paper one, I have covered entirely. Actually, I've covered the paper one for mechanics on our app called the Quest Lift. Please download that app. Download that app, install it on your device. You'll find there lessons from the introduction up to the end. Quest Lift. Quest Lift. The spelling is right here. It's right here. So download those videos. And uh, okay, this this app is um, it's a premium app. You pay some little money, little fee, but you get the absolute best, best. So you will find lessons even for those of you who don't do uh, don't do physics. There are lessons for geography. There are lessons for econ. There are lessons for mathematics. The whole syllabus covered. There are lessons for biology. There are lessons for chemistry. Please, it is called the quest lift. Quest lift. So, make sure uh, that you make sure that you follow us. Follow us. So, for paper one, there is a lot, a lot of the content, a lot of the content that you need already there on the app. Now, for paper two, um, this is the major reason why I made this lesson, this video. It's about paper two. Paper two, you need to understand section A well and practice enough. Light, 
and please use textbooks some pamphlets mislead yes it is good to have them yes but textbooks give you the best information yeah so uh, you can handle the light that is okay when you come to section b our uh, web theory of light usually even if you leave it out i'm just saying even if for those of you who are looking at saving time you maybe probably don't have you have a lot to do the disc colors and what first do wave motion so wave motion is also covered in quest lift that will still take some more time and they throw in videos around uh, wave motion here uh, but other teachers other teachers on youtube yeah we need we actually honestly appreciate our friends out there there is teacher walga the ronald from DJSS, yes. Then uh, there's another teacher from King's College, Gudo, he's called the uh, teacher Alibun. Oh my God, no, he's not Alibun. He's called the teacher, um, teacher Kakuru Dennis, yes. Teacher Kakuru Dennis. You can check out his channel. Uh, it's also available on YouTube. I'm going to put here the names of those uh teachers actually even the links in the description so that you can easily subscribe also to their channels and learn so um section b the waves the lessons are available on youtube section c i think has been the section that people have not given time to create content for then section d still teacher Yes, teacher Kakuru Dennis has a lot of content for you about that section. So my focus is now going to be on section C. Section C where we have magnetism, electromagnetism and AC. And permit me start with the AC because students find it very easy. Yeah, there are concepts that you will need from magnetism to do alternating currents, alternating current circuits. But I will be explaining yeah then later on if i have time then i'll bring in now the general work about magnetism otherwise i want to welcome you all uh, to this kind of learning you are a very blessed generation your blessed generation because this 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 kind of work is available to you we didn't have such content during our times yeah but you have the opportunity please take this opportunity utilize it and you surely as your levels i want to wish you a nice time please don't forget to subscribe like the video comment share with your friends yeah subscribe now i wish you a nice time